Hello, I am going to show you how to make a little envelope for your um, flower swap envelope. Um, you want to make something big enough to hold all your flowers. So I'm going to show you this one I did for um, Christmas time. Um, I did this one. Um, this one I actually did out of, um, not out of legal paper, like the legal size paper. So it's a lot bigger. So you can use bigger paper, just so you know. Um, if you don't have bigger paper, um, you can use three pieces of copy paper to make it longer. But there's a big pocket there. Of course I used copy dyed paper. Um, I actually sewed this one. I attempted sewing. Um, and then just made a cute little flap with some lace on it. And I did, I did a little bit of stamping, but it didn't really come out. But it's kind of faint in there. But you can stamp, you can collage, you can whatever. Of course, I got great big pink flower on there and I think this came off of like an old headband or something so um let's jump in um got some paper here and I'm going to try to remember how I did this because I did one for the Easter bunny swap too um, it turned out really cute. It actually had a pocket in the front and the back of the envelope and two pocket, two layer pockets inside, which is actually turned out really cute. So you take your two pieces of paper and you just line them up next on one on top of the other. I don't know if you can see, but see how this is coming to here. This would be my pocket width if I folded this over. It's basically in half. And that goes in there. And then this is going to go wherever you want it to go. How you, I wouldn't suggest going completely in half. But maybe half of a half. If that makes sense. So now you have this pocket here, and believe it or not, you have a pocket on the back if you want. You don't have to. You can move that completely down, or sew it, or however you want to do it. <coughs> so that's a, that's literally what I did for this one, except for this one was longer paper. So, like I said, if you want to do something that's a little bit longer, let's do this. Let's glue this up first, and then I'll show you. If you want to make it longer if you don't have long paper. So, I'm just going to... Bring up this side. Okay. I'm sorry if you can hear my nose is a little stuffed. Um, I, my allergies act up in the mornings. There's one there. I also think too, if you don't want this at all in the back you could just fold your paper completely in half and just glue it to this on this side if you do that you'll have a double pocket on the inside but kind of like in the there we go 
Another thing I do is I go ahead and put a strip down there of glue, just because. I'm going to do this one as I'm doing it like a pocket, just because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I could always close it up, cover it up, whatever. So I'm going to do that. Don't forget to round your corners. I heard somebody the other day say, if you have a hard time rounding your corners, grab a, a nickel, a penny, um, a quarter, depending on the size, and just stick it on there and follow around. thought that was a good suggestion. Okay. So there is my envelope that I could put all kinds of goodies in and I can decorate. Um, simple, fast, easy. Let's try. So if we wanted to make one that was longer, right there, what we're going to do is we're going to, after I get it lined up, of course, I'm going to move it. We're going to make a longer sheet of paper. Okay, so now I have a longer sheet of paper. Then I'm going to take this here, and I am going to fold some of this up. Now, I want to figure out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you. This is about the size I want my envelope stuffing to be for this to come down. What you want to decide then do you want to cut this, use this, make it an extra little tuck? Um, I think I'm going to. Make it an extra little tuck. I know envelopes don't have extra tucks in the real world. Who lives in the real world? So I am actually going to make it have an extra tuck. Oh. And the nicer thing about the pockets that are a little deeper, you can come in with your glue on the bottom and on the sides a little bit more just to make sure it sticks completely and then we're going to arrange that piece of paper on top of the other one having our envelope there and that there and then we're going to take this and we're going to fold this over and where I've made this little extra pocket, it folds right over the top of that. And then again, I'm going to come in and round the corner some. And now I have a bigger one. If you actually have legal size paper, you don't have to obviously make your paper longer. You would just fold it the same way that we folded the little one to make your pocket. The other thing you can do is you can come in, if you feel this is too high, you can fold this down, if I can get 
hold the back some. You can fold this down like that, or you can use um, your circle punch and give it a little notch in there. It's your envelope. It's your world. You can do it any way you want. So those are, I know it's probably hard to see white on white, but there is a pocket there and a pocket there and the flap solid on the back. This is a smaller one, flap, pocket, pocket on the back. That's my little envelope tutorial. Um, it's actually very easy. Um, you, of course, you can coffee, use coffee dyed paper. You can spray it after you make it with coffee. You can spray it with glimmer mist. You can leave it white and ink it. You can leave it white and do whatever you want. You can, don't even have to use white. You can use purple paper, pink paper, blue paper, whatever you decide you want to use. That's what you can use. Um, if you want me to see me decorate these, leave a comment below and I will make a video on decorating them because um, I have to decorate it anyways. So just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Talk to you later.